Okay, hello and welcome. Welcome to my channel. I'm Laura and I'm going to be showing you something that I have already previously shown you. You may have seen it. I am going to redo a video that has had over 136,000 views. It's been so popular, but it was made a couple of years ago and it now could do with an update. So there's a couple of things that I'm going to add in which will make it better for you, your business and your graphics. Now, this is watermarks, adding a watermark to your design, to your image, to protect it from being copied on social media. Such a simple thing, but such an important thing to know. Right, let's head over to my screen and I'm going to show you exactly how we do this. Here we are on my Canva screen. Now, one of the biggest differences between the two videos is the layout of Canva. When I done the original video, it was back in the day when Canva looked different. So if you are looking at the old one and then you're trying to use Canva today, it will look different. So I wanted to redo the video mainly for that and also because you can add watermark onto videos as well and I get asked all the time can you add watermarks to videos yes you can so we are going to show you both okay we need a design so I'm going to head over to create a design and I'm just going to click on Instagram a square post frame nothing fancy just going for Instagram this will be whatever size design you have it could be a four, it could be Facebook, it could be a six by four image, however you want to do it. You can create a watermark on any template size. I am going to head over to photos and I'm going to find a nice photo that let's say I've taken this photo. I haven't. This one is not a photo of mine. Uh, I'm going to set it as a background image and this is the photo, for example, that I want to put out on social media, but I don't want anyone to take it. I don't want anyone to use this as their own. I want people to know this is mine. So I need to add a watermark. The easiest and simplest way to do this is using text. Okay, I'm going to head over to the text box and I'm just going to select the, the first one here where it says Montserrat. And the best way is to use your business name. It could be your own name, for example. It could be the name of a product. Depends on what you want the watermark to say. I'm going for my business name. I'm also going to just bring it in so my words are on top of each other. And then I'm going to use the corners to drag it out across my screen. You can see where this is going. I'm going to centralize it because I want the watermark to be across the entire design. I will just change the font. You don't have to stick with the first one that's on there. You can choose whatever font you want. Depends on what you fancy. It could be your brand font, for example, if you have a specific brand font use that. If you're a business, do use your brand font. I'm going to go for this one. I quite like this font. Move me down here so we can see the screen a bit better. And the key, this is the key. There are two things to do here. I'm going to change the color of the text to white. I will show you with black as well because they do look slightly different. And then I'm going to hit the transparency key. Okay. And I'm just going to start fading it out. So you can still see the writing across the design. But it's not too obvious. And you have your watermark. I add another page, actually, if I duplicate this one. The same text box, if I change it to black, for example, we'll change the text color to black. You will need to adjust the transparency even more. But you can see it a little bit clearer. So it depends on the actual colors in the image or the design that you're putting the watermark on. Depends on whether you might want the watermark white or black. So we've got two different options here, one with white, one with black. You can see them both. You can see the image in the background. One may be clearer than the other on your design. So that is how you add a watermark on top of one of your designs. It is as simple as 
using a text box, your business name, drag it out so it fills the entire design and then change the transparency using this one here. Couple of tips. I would have your watermark in the middle of the design. I wouldn't have it at the top here and I wouldn't have it at the bottom here because it may be possible to crop out. If you've got it across the front of the design, it cannot be cropped out. You could, if you wanted, have it smaller and then you could duplicate it and put two lots on there so you can still see it. It is entirely up to you. You could have it rotated, for example. You don't have to have it um, level. You can have it rotated so you can still see it on your design, however you want to have it. But the key points are changing the colour of the text, making the text nice and big so it covers the main part of your design and then using the transparency to just make it visible within the design. Now you can also do this on video as well. If we find the video section, say you've uploaded a video of a product, you have a product that you're showcasing and you want to add a watermark over the top of it, again, so it can't be used by someone else. Uh, let's just go for this one, for example. Let's say this is my business, um, my business video. We can do exactly the same. It doesn't matter. I will right click this and then go, um, where are we? Set video as background. So the video can play. It is now my full design. I'll go over to my text box, type in my business name. or it could be your product name, drag it out, drag the corners out, centralize it throughout your design. You can change your font. I quite like the, um, which was the font I used on here? I quite like this, Rasputin. I'm gonna type it in here and then it will find it for me. I quite like that font, it's quite funky. I'm going to change, I'm actually I'm going to leave it as black and we'll, because the, the background of the video is quite dark. I'm going to leave it as black and I'm going to change the transparency down. So there we go. We have our watermark across. I'm going to just tilt it. And then if I click play, it will play my fruits because I had them first. Let's just fast forward. So now you can see my video is playing and it still has my watermark over the top. And when you download this as well, download it as an MP4 file, a video file, you will still have that watermark across the top. So there we go. A very, very quick, simple way of creating a watermark on your image and on your video to save your work being taken and used by someone else. A great way to protect what you have created. I really hope you've enjoyed this today. Please, please do come and follow and subscribe to my channel because we have so much going on here at the moment. And that is me, I'm Laura. I'm a Canva creator and a Canvassador and I love bringing Canva videos to you.